This video will show the installation of the EMD motor into a 1981 commuter car. Jacks and a floor jack are about all you need. We'll be doing the ES40D6. Be careful of brake lines underneath the body of the car when you're jacking it up. I use two jacks under the rear axle and two jacks just forward of the front door on each side. This is the old motor we'll be removing. This is a view looking down the driver's side at the A2 and S2. Be sure to label all the cables going to the motor before you undo anything. All it takes is four bolts to get off the old motor and it gets right off. Be careful not to drop it. This is the face plate that uses 9 16 inch bolts. And what I do is make a jig to lay the motor on and put that on a floor jack to get it up inside the car. You can't pick it up by hand and put it up in there yourself. Just use the jack to uh, slowly lift the motor up and align it with the shaft that comes out of the differential. You'll have to line the splines up with that shaft in order to slide the motor back on. I do that by twisting the rear wheel when the motor's aligned with the shaft and it'll just slide right there. Don't try to twist the motor itself to line up with the shaft because it just won't work very well.
All you have to do now is reinstall four small bolts to the motor to attach it to the faceplate. And then you're going to have to reattach all the cables to the main motor part. After that, I would suggest reinstalling the old cooling pipe that goes to it, the cowling. I ran my D&D motor for years without any kind of cooling on it, but I think it's 